already I have this very, very colorful man with me, and I do believe that I am over here somewhere. This is where I'm being drawn with him. I have got a gentleman here that appears to be very thin when I look at him. When he was in the living, I would think that he would have had a thin stature about him. I also want to say that he has facial hair. I clearly see his facial hair when I am looking at him. Um, I also want to tell you that I believe that there might have been a little bit of length to his hair as well. Um, this gentleman was quite a character. I, I feel like his personality was somewhat colorful. Um, he was a trickster and a jokester. I feel like he had quite a sense of humor about him. Um, I also want to tell you too that I feel like he died at a very early age, at least what I think to be early. So I do feel that I've got a gentleman here that went very, very fast. Um, I also want to tell you too that when I look at his face, I see dark eyes with him. At least that's the way that he's coming through to me. Does anybody understand this thus far? Nobody. Oh, my first dud. All right, I'm going to keep going. Um, I also want to tell you about this man. Um, he is telling me that he left a lot of things undone in his life when he left. Now, I want to say, too, that this gentleman did not, what he is conveying to me is that he did not do well with money and finances and jobs. He would have hopped jobs. Um, he wouldn't have stayed at one job very long. And I also want to tell you, too, that I, I feel that this gentleman, he's talking about some young children that were around him when he left. However, I do not feel that these are his kids. These are not his kids, but some kids that he was around. I do feel like I am over here somewhere with this. Does anybody understand any more of the evidence? Okay, do you understand everything that I have said thus far, please? So far. Everything that I have said to you thus far, you understand. Mm -hmm. All right, I think this is where we are. Can I work with you a little bit on this? You understand the way I've described him. I'm just gonna do a re-inventory. The things that I told you about him going very, very quickly, not very good with finances, left some around some children. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, do you also understand about this gentleman too, because he's telling me that the person that he wants to speak to, he was quite fond of. Do you understand that? He had a fondness towards you, do you understand? And I also want to tell you too that he's telling me that he felt quite wise, that he felt that you were quite wise with him. Like he felt like he learned things from you and you calmed him down in times of, oh, I screwed up my life. Help me understand some things. Do you understand why he would say that, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I also want to tell you too, you understand the death being very accidental, please. He was gone very, very quick. And I also want to say that I've got pain associated in my head with the passing. Do you understand that? Okay. Um, and I also want to tell you, too, that this man, um, the way that he is showing himself dressed to me, he, it's, he's, he had kind of this sense of style about him. I don't want to say that he was like a fashion guru or anything like that. But he had this sense of dress that was very particular and intimate to him. Do you understand that? Yes. Um, I also want to tell you, too, do you understand his hair having quite some length to it and it would be pulled back sometimes in a ponytail? Do you understand that? Um, and I also want to tell you, too, that I feel like the month of September is significant to him in some way. Do you understand the month of September, please? Would it be somewhere around the 18th or the 19th or in that time frame? You understand. Which date, please? I think the 20th. The 20th. I'm close. I'll take 20th. <laughs> um, I also want to tell you, too, that this gentleman, I don't feel like this passing was so long ago. Do you understand that? Within a year or so, does that make sense to you, please? He, he was just gone very, very fast. And, and he keeps talking to me about these children that were around him. That makes sense to you? Maybe. Do you understand that when I said it a moment ago about the kids? Okay, so you understand that. He's telling me that he is currently trying to communicate with that child. Would you have an understanding of that, please? Yes. Okay, because he's telling me that he tries to come across to this kid. Is it a girl, please? Girl, yes. Girl, okay. And he's telling me that he talks to her, and he's also telling me that she talks back, but she talks out audible to him. Do you understand that? Um, I also want to say to you, is this your brother? It's actually my... Just say yes or no. No. It is not. No. Do you understand the brotherly type of connection that he would have with you, though? He's telling me that yes. he's got this brotherly, sisterly kind of a connection with you. Do you understand that? I like It's not your husband or boyfriend or anything like that. I feel like this is somebody within your family, but it's more of like extended family, or it's, it's, it's I don't know how to describe it other than that. Do you it's actually an ex-father-in-law, but, but 
But we were close. Okay. We were very, but, very close. All right, I'll, I'll take like, that. But you, un yes. you understand that, though. Okay. I also want to tell you, too, that he smells. Yep. Now, I have to tell you that the smell is quite strong that I am getting with him. It's, and, I, and forgive me for what I'm about to say, but it's like cheap cologne smell. Would you have an understanding of that, please? He smells. So uh, maybe. Okay, I'm not smelling the smoke. I'm just yeah. smelling cheap cologne smell. If you don't understand, that's fine. But I am getting that with him right now when I am connected to him. Does that make sense to yeah. you? Um, I also want to tell you, too, that this gentleman, he's, he's very concerned about some of the things that are going on in your life right now. Do you understand why he would say that? He's telling me that you've got a lot on your mind as far as things that are going on with you particularly. Not family, not family problems, anything like that. What I'm talking about is that it seems like what he is talking to me about is that you've got some goals and you're and you're you're not stepping into your courage with these goals. Do you understand that? You keep backing out. And I feel like that even though this man had a um, a bad life and he made bad decisions, he was he was also very adamant and like a go-getter. Do you understand that? Like he talked really fast and he was very abrupt in his language and he would always say things to you like, girl, just go for that, go for that, go for what you want to go for. Do you understand that, please? Okay, he's saying that to you tonight mm -hmm. because he's telling me that you've got things that you want to do that you keep, you're, you're not standing in your own power and you keep stepping back. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. He's telling me to tell you that you have all the strength you need to move through that and go forward. Does that make sense to you, please? Mm -hmm. um, I also want to tell you, too, that um, did, did he have an earring on one side of his head? Okay, because I, I, I feel, and just one. Okay, because I, I, I'm going, and it was, because I'm going to one earring, and I just keep seeing that with him when I'm looking at him. You understand that. Uh -huh. um, just know that this gentleman is around you. He's um, talking to your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I want you to know that your daughter has probably got a mediumistic quality about her, so you need to get ready for that. Um, so, and he's kind of like testing her, testing the waters with her as far as talking to her. Does that make sense to you, please? Does your daughter draw, please? Does she draw? Yeah. She draws fairly well, too, does yeah. she not? Okay, because what he is saying to me is that she is drawing him. Has she drew a picture of him, please? If she hasn't, she's going to. Yeah. Do you understand all of that? I actually found one recently going through some things. Okay, and did it look like him? Yes. All right, there you have it. So she's, I, I want to tell you that I like him. I think he had a lot of issues about him, but I do like him. I think he was a very likable man. I'm just, and, and excuse my salty language, but he was just fucked up. Do you understand? <laughs> but, does that make, but does that make sense to you what I'm saying? Does he have a message for his son, my ex-husband, at all? He hasn't said anything to me about that. I'm, I'm asking him that question right now. Um, and when I ask him that, he just goes like this. Yeah. Okay? Do you, okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. You will take that. All right. Thank that. you for letting me bring to that. I'm going to go ahead and move on. <clears throat> Okay, I have this very, very funny lady with me now. Um, she's very well put together. <laughs> uh, when I look at her, she's, um, I gotta tell you what she looks like to me. In the 1980s, do you remember when everybody had the gigantic hair? Mm -hmm. So when I see her, I, she's got like this gigantic hairdo, all right? She's got makeup on her face, she's very well put together, she wore bright clothes. I have to say that when this woman was in the living, she would have wore like reds and purples and magentas and those kind of things. And her lipstick always matched her outfit and, you know, all those things. She's very well put together. Um, I do want to say, too, that she had quite a sense of humor about her. Her laughter was very contagious. Her laughter was very contagious. I can hear her laughing now. And when she laughed, everybody laughed. Um, I do want to say that I do believe this woman passed from cancer. I do. Does anybody understand anything I've said thus far? I'm going to keep going. I feel like this might be for somebody in the very, very back, meaning the people that work here. Okay? So I want you to listen to me, what I've had to say. Does anything that I have said make any sense to anyone? Yes? You understand that? Are you, can I work with you? Okay. Do you, will you, are you okay to work with me? Will you come and step right up here so I can, so I can see you better? You understand everything that I've said to you thus far about this lady? Yeah. You understand. Um, 
she was like Miss Personality Plus. Do you understand? And and I and I loved her. I think I'd like to hang out with her in the gay bars. <laughs> She's just got that kind of a personality about her. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And and I want to say you understand passing from the cancer and everything that I've given you thus far. Okay, great. Um, she is telling me, and I'm trying. I'm asking her to give me some a memory that the two of you would have shared. Do you understand, please, about this lady? She was also a very giving woman. Do you understand that? Like she bought things for people all the time. Do you understand? And I feel like that she, um, you know, she was not stingy. She was not selfish. She would give. She would give to whoever she thought needed something. Does that make sense to you, please? And I feel like that something she might have given you might have been some kind of a little box. Do you understand some kind of a little box, please? I'm, she's showing me, and if it's not for you, maybe you understand this. She's showing me, it looks like a little jewelry box or a little keepsake box of some kind, and the little top pops up, and it's very decorative on the top. It's got maybe little jewels on the top or whatever. Do you understand this at all about her? Yeah, kind of. Kind of, sort of? Um, because I feel like when, and, and, I'm, and I'm asking her, help me understand kind of, sort of, from you, and when I ask her that, she liked those kind of things, like, um, like her earrings would have been like drag queen earrings. They would have been like dragged down to the floor, you know what I mean? And she would have liked um, things with jewels on them, and like her house would have been like very decorated that way. She liked, I, I don't like to use the word gaudy, but I have to use the word gaudy. She just, she liked those types of things. Do you understand that? It was kind of her personality. Does that make sense to you, please? Um, and I also want to say, too, um, connected to mom somehow, please, this lady. Connected to mom. Your mom. She's not connected to your mom. Oh, what are you trying to tell me? Thank you, I understand. Are you still in connection with people that she would have been a mother to, please? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. She had children. Do you understand that? And are you still in connection with the kids that, she, that were her kids? Does that make sense to you? Because that, because when you, I, at first I thought she was connected to your mom, and then you wouldn't told me no. She said no. I'm a mom to people that she knows. That makes sense to you, okay? Um, I also want to tell you too that she's, she's talking about. I'm trying to get her to give me something about you that's going on right now. She's telling me that. Are, are, are you pursuing something education-wise right now, please, or thinking about doing that? Okay, because she's telling me that she's showing you sitting there with books open in front of you. And when I ask her about this, she's like, she needs to do that. Do you understand what she's talking about, please? Um, not really. Do you understand the education part? Something you're wanting to do to increase your education, go to school, something of that nature. Does that make sense to you? She's telling me that you need to pursue that. Move forward with that. Do you understand that, please? Um, because she's telling me that you have a lot of love for people. Do you understand that? So I feel like what it is you're wanting to step into is either servicing people, helping people, doing something for people. Do you understand that? She's telling me that you need to move forward with that and step into that and do it. And you're afraid of yourself. It's just like that, whoever I was talking to over here a while ago, it's kind of like that same thing. Or was it you? It was you. Somebody. You're, you're afraid to step into that. Listen, people, this is going, women are going to be the future. <laughs> I'm not saying that because I'm in a room full of women <laughs> with a few men scattered here and there. But women are going to be the future. You guys are going to save, the, you're going to save humanity. I truly believe that women are going to save humanity, like in the next decade. I truly believe that. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know why? You want, and, and I'm going to be blunt. Men have fucked it up. We fucked it up. It's a mess. It's a mess. And women have got to fix it. And whatever it is that you're wanting to do and step into is going to be part of that. You're going to inspire people. You're going to inspire people to be better. Do you understand that? So don't be afraid of that. She's telling me, do not be afraid of that, is what she's saying to me. And I feel like that when she was in the living, she would have coached you like that at times. Do you understand that? Girl, go for it. I see her with the lipstick on. You understand what I'm saying? She's like, girl, go for it. Was her hair red? Was it kind of an auburn color? Uh, yeah, I think she was younger. Okay, because that's how she's showing herself to me. Um, go do that. Just go do that. And that is what she is saying. Was her name a J name? I just heard the name Jill. Judy. Judy, I get it right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I like her. And she's quite fond of you. Okay? 
Um, and I feel like this passing wasn't so long ago, but it wasn't like just within the year. I feel like I was a couple of years back. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. No, but you, but you understand not so long ago. Yeah. Okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna dwell on that. All right, just know that she's around you and she's proud of you and she is going to inspire you. Let this woman inspire you, okay? And the picture that you came across of her very recently, do you understand what I'm talking about? She's telling me that you came across some kind of photograph of her very recently where you were small. Do you understand that? You're in the picture with her, but you're smaller. Does that make sense? She, she likes the fact that you're kind of, you kind of had a love moment there when you got the photo. Do you understand that? And I could see her in the photo the way that I'm seeing her now. She's all put together. Does that make sense to you? Okay, just know this woman's around you. She wants to be an inspiration to you. And the other lying message to you is go forth and do. Do you understand? Okay, thank you for letting me bring that to you.